Hi, I'm Roy Burton, the inside technician here at Hydolf North America, and I'd like to go over some of the external features on your autoclave. So first I would like to point out the pressure gauge here. This is a live reading pressure gauge that will show you the actual readings inside the chamber during operation. Below that, we have the liquid crystal thin film display. It's a full color display that will show you the live readings inside the chamber as well. So here we have the three button keypad with the up and down arrows, as well as the start stop button. This will be the majority of the way you'll be interacting with the menuing on the unit. Below that, we have the printer cover, which houses the printer itself, which gives you the live reading from the cycle data while the cycle is running. Beside that, we have the USB port for importing and exporting cycle data. And down here at the bottom of the panel, we have the power switch. When you want to begin your operations for the day, begin by flipping it forward and to turn it off at the end of the day, back for off. Next, I'd like to talk about the plastic door cover. It's made of a heat resistant plastic. When opening the door, please open it from the bottom with the recessed handle. Inside of the chamber, we have the tray holder as well as the small solid tray and the large perforated tray. Located at the top of the chamber are both of the temperature probes so that you can monitor your sterilization media directly. Next, I want to talk about some features on the rear of the unit, beginning with the ventilation grills, allowing the unit to cool properly between cycles. Here at the lower left, we start with the communications port for remote network monitoring of the autoclave. Below that is the circuit breaker for electrical protection. To the left of that, we have the overheat reset cutout. And at the very bottom here, we have the power cord connection. And this silver cap here is the strainer cap. Inside is the strainer mesh, designed to catch any solids from spilled media and stop it from getting into the internal plumbing of the system. This will catch any large material and stop it from getting into the internal plumbing on the unit, as well as clogging up the valves. Keeping the strainer clear, will allow better water flow during the water inlet stage of the cycle, as well as drainage at the end of it. And then here at the top of the autoclave, we have the reservoir cover, as well as the dipstick for monitoring the water level in the reservoir. Inside the reservoir, you'll also find the safety valve for helping prevent overpressure situations inside of the chamber. Next, I'd like to point out the locking arms located to the right of the chamber. These ensure that the unit stays secured tight during operation. Depending on your model of autoclave, the locking mechanism may vary. On our smaller units, the door opens on the left side via the integrated unlocking handle. To secure the door, you need only close it and press firmly until it snaps back into place. Our largest units have the integrated door locking lever. To unlock the door, move it all the way to the right, with the unlock symbol, allowing you to open it. To re-secure the door, simply close it all the way and move the lever to the left to indicate locked. And then right below the locking arms, we have the drain valve for flushing and refilling of the reservoir. And then in the chamber, all the way at the very back bottom is the water sensing electrode for monitoring the actual water level in the chamber during sterilization. Today, we covered some of the external features of your autoclave. Again, I'm Roy Burton with Hydolf North America. Thanks for joining us.